for today's lesson, you are going to need a pencil and crayons or colored pencils. We are going to try to make a snowman look 3D. So that might affect the colors that you choose. I am going to use crayons and I have chosen a dark blue, a medium blue, and then a light blue to use for my shading um, so I can get that value from light to dark. And then I have other colors to finish in my snowman drawing. To start, I'm going to use a pencil and I'm going to draw a snowman. So I'm going to draw three different circles. The snowman is really the only thing in the picture so we can make that snowman nice and big. I am also going to add a horizon line for the ground and a moon into my picture. Now is the time to add extra details also. If you wanna add a scarf and a hat, um, you can add the face in now too if you want, or we can add that after we do our shading, but you can go ahead and draw those things in with a pencil now. Now we are going to add in the color. I'm going to start with my blue, that's my darkest color. I am going to start coloring on the curve that is opposite of my moon. So if you notice, my moon is in the top right corner of my picture. So I am starting on the bottom left of each of the snowballs that make the body of my snowman. So it's almost like drawing the letter C. The side closest to the moon should be getting the most light from the moon. So I don't want to color that edge. I am coloring hard right on that line. And then as I get farther out into the snowball, I am pressing lighter so that I don't leave as much color on the page. I'm trying to get that value, that dark to light to show up. Now I'm going to switch to my middle color. In this case, it is blue green. I'm going to color over my blue just a little bit and then color lightly out towards the center of my snowball again. Again, I'm pressing a little bit harder as it overlaps that blue and then coming out a little bit lighter. So it's all about how hard you are pressing with your hand. I am coloring in a curve. You don't wanna color flat. If you color in a straight line, it's going to flatten out your snowman and make it not look 3D. It won't look right if we color in straight lines. So you wanna make sure you are using those curved lines. The last thing I'm going to do is switch to my lightest color, which is a sky blue. Again, I'm coloring over that blue green a little bit, pretty hard, all the way to the blue even, and then lightly coloring out towards the middle of that snowball. But again, I am not coloring in a flat line or a straight line. I have to color in a curve. If I don't follow the curve of that snowball, then it doesn't make my snowman look 3D. The shadow effect isn't the same if I draw with a straight line. Once I am done coloring the three colors dark to light to create that shadow, I'm also going to create a shadow on the ground. So the shadow on the ground would be on the opposite side of my moon. So again, if my moon is in the top right, then my shadow is going to be on the left side of my snowman, just to create that, making it look a little bit more 3D on the snow. After I've created my shadow, then I can add all the rest of the details of my picture. I can color in the face and any buttons or arms, I can color in or make patterns on the hat and the scarf. This is a nighttime picture with that moon in the sky. So you probably want to color in your background dark to represent the night sky. You can put stars, um, anything else that you want to add detail wise to your picture. After you have finished your picture, make sure that you upload it to Artsonia so that your art teacher can see it. If you have any questions about what you are supposed to do or how to do this assignment, please email your art teacher and we are happy to help.